What you guys got another video on how to turn a cheap mini PC into an awesome emulation retro gaming machine. Now I picked this up for £150. It didn't have any hard drives in it, but it's an Aspire XC885. Now this one does come with an i5-8400 and it did have 8GB of RAM in my version. Uh, and what I've done is I've added another 16GB to make that 24GB. Now this would have come with a one terabyte mechanical drive uh, which was not included in the purchase but that's not a problem because there's plenty of room for mechanical drives solid state drives and even has an m.2 slot on the motherboard which i'm going to utilize to free up some of this space so this is the pc inside here if you want to see the full upgrade video then check out my video playlist i've done a video on how to upgrade this and turn it into a little mini gaming pc so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move this hard drive cage here. So I need to remove the front end and this just clips off like this. So once I've removed this, um, I can uh, get access to the drive here. Now you can put obviously a DVD ROM drive in here if you want to do a Blu-ray drive. And that's gives us access to this area here where I'm going to put in an NVMe drive here. Pick this up pretty cheap. I'm just going to slot this in and then screw this down. And this will give us plenty of storage, one terabyte of space which is plenty for what I need for this particular uh, machine. And of course, if I want to add more storage in, I could just put the cage back in and put in a uh, mechanical drive in there if I wanted to, or a solid state drive. So let me just quickly screw this down here and we'll move on to the graphics card. Now, the power supply on these is only 220 watts. So we've opted for a GT 1030. Now, you could possibly push this even further and put, say, for instance, a 1050 Ti or even a 1650, but it would really be stretching the legs on that 220 watt power supply. So we'll stick with the GT 1030 for this uh, build and we'll crack on with getting Batacera uh, installed onto a USB flash drive and then we can boot to that USB flash drive, which will give us the option to have an awesome uh, emulation machine which is what we're going to turn this into so let's go over to the Batacera website and we can now download their software here now what I'm going to do is come down the bottom it is open source as you can see here so we're going to come down and uh, download the version for this machine the version for this machine we need is the standard desktop laptop version but they do other versions which I'll go through here quickly which is the Apple desktop laptop and also the Intel Nook. It'll also run on a lot of handheld consoles just like these ones. So if you have one of these, you can run Batacera on one of these as well. And I'll come down a bit further. If you've got a, a Raspberry Pi, you can even run it on a Raspberry Pi as well. And it also runs on uh, Odroid as well if you want to run it on any of those. And you can see the rock trick boards here. It will run on those as well. So pretty cool. Any Android uh, box there will run on these. And even on old desktops and laptops, this will be the version you need to download for 15-year-old systems if you want to run this. So once you've chosen your selection, download it. Hit the down download button or the direct link, and this will download uh, Batacera to your uh, machine. And once we've got this downloaded, we can then uh, download Etcher. Now, Etcher is a great little tool for creating our bootable USB flash drives with Batacera on it. So what we're going to do here is download this as well. And we've now got the image down and we've also now got Etcher down. So once we've got these two, we're going to need a flash drive. You want to try and get a pretty reasonably fast flash drive. And then what we're going to do is open up Etcher and get this onto the system so we can create our bootable media. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one here and get this installed. Very simple and easy to do. You'll see uh, this box here. All we need to do here is pick a file that we want to flash. So I'm going to pick the uh, Batacera file here. So just click on this one here. And we're going to come down to the location where our file is. Now you'll notice it's an image.gz file. You will need to extract that file with 7-zip and make it a .img file, which I'm going to do off camera. And I'll select it here, but you'll see it is a dot image here. You can't use the dot GZ, okay? So make sure you extract it. 
Now we need to select our USB flash drive. I'm going to select this 123 gigabyte USB flash drive here. And then once I've selected this, we can now select this one and we can now click on flash. We should have the .img file, which is our batch of Sarah file. And we also have the USB flash drive. And now we can click flash and it will copy all of that data over to the flash drive, which we can then plug into our little mini PC and boot to that USB flash drive. So what we're going to do here is literally flash this and it's now done. You should see flash complete and that means it's been completed. If you see an error code there, it means you've done something wrong and you need to go back and redo it. Now, once you've booted to Batasera, you can see we've got game settings here and you've got all the customization which you can do inside Batasera to make it suitable for your mini PC. And basically you can come in here and mess around with it. Now, if you want to see a full tutorial on how to set this up properly, then let me know in the comment section below and I'll make a start to finish on how to get this set up and customize it the way you want to. So once you've got all your controller configured and everything else configured, it will look something like this, where you'll get all the selection for your games. You will need to go into the file system and drop in your ROMs and your BIOS. And once you've got all that done, you should be pretty much good to go. Now, if you want to see a full tutorial on setting this up, then let me know in the comment section below. There's plenty of videos out there that have done that as well. So you can always check those out. Also, if you want to change your theme, just like I've done here, you can go into here, UI settings, and basically make changes to your theme set. So go in here and select the theme. So you can see I've already got some downloaded. And you can download more if you wanted to. It's entirely up to you what you download here. But once you've got these set, you're pretty much good to go. So you can see I've changed the theme here. Let me just change one more here so you can see a different one here. That's the default theme. So let's go back and change this theme here. I do like this theme. It does look pretty cool. So once you're happy with your theme, you should see a change in the look of it. And I think you'll agree that looks absolutely awesome. And any person's going to love that setup if you get this set up just the way I've got it here. You can get all your games on here and you'll be able to play all your wallpapers and fan art and um, videos and stuff like that will all be added in as well. It'll look absolutely awesome. So here's some gameplay for you just to show you how it all works. Um, I've muted the sound, but you can basically get an idea here, some games, how you can get these working on here. I've not messed with the uh, graphic settings or anything. I've just left them on default, uh, but you can mess with those and turn them up. But basically, as you can see, works really really well on this system no problem at all and it'll work on older systems as well depending on what you're trying to achieve with it but other than that i think it looks pretty cool i'm using just a, a ps4 controller here plugged it in and set this up you can do the same or you can go and buy yourself a um, one online they're pretty cheap i'll leave some links in the video description if you're interested anyway i think that's going to be about it for this video my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you want to see a full tutorial on setting this up properly, then let me know in the comment section below and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. Big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. Bye for now.